Hi, I'm Brandi Grissett. I'm valedictorian of the class of 2011 at Iola High School. I'm the daughter of Tracy and Larry Grissett. I am Amy Fernandez and I am school Victorian of the class of 2011 at Iola High School. I am the daughter of Hector and Graciela Fernandez. When I was growing up, I was just like any other girl. When you're like two, you want to be a princess, you want to, or you want to be a teacher. Now I want to major in accounting because I'm, I'm just, I love math and um, I'm going to hopefully major in accounting and have a minor in business management. Ms. Saltzenberger, our counselor, offered me the opportunity to go to this camp at Texas A&M. It's called BCAP. It's um, Business Careers Awareness Program and because I was looking into the business field. So I went there and I had a real lot, a lot of fun. Like they actually um, let us go to classes, actual A&M classes with their actual teachers and I found out that I really liked accounting. When I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a backup dancer. <laughs> I'd always dance around. Go oh, Brittany! In my, yeah, <laughs> who I sing to all the time. I'd uh, always dance around in my living room and my parents would like, Go Brand, cheer me on. Were you in, on any dance teams or anything like that? Or? Ballet, but I didn't stick with it because I wanted more hip hop. Now that I'm older, I've been thinking about it since I was a junior. I really want to go into the medical field. Even though Brittany's back? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Brittany. <laughs> I really like kids, so, and I'm also fascinated by, like, biology and chemistry, like, not so much chemistry, but just how the human body works. And so I felt my, the best career choice for me would be pediatrician, because I'd get to mix both of them. My most memorable moment in high school would have to be our senior trip. We went to Mexico and we stopped in Progreso in Cozumel. On a cruise ship? Mm hmm And it was just a time for all of us to explore and get out of this secluded town and actually mingle and meet people from all over the world. Everyone on the cruise ship, like the, the ones who were working, they were from South Africa, Australia, Serbia. I think we all grew from it. Like, so we saw how it, like a taste of what being out there on our own can be like. It's exciting for me. I'm excited to find all my opportunities and just start life on the cruise. We got to explore Cozumel. <laughs> it was really pretty. Like we just shopped around really and just talking to the different people. It was, it was fun. What did you learn from the people from different areas of the world? Just seeing like their different personalities and I guess some of their thoughts is just like it's okay to be unique and your own person and don't let anyone else really affect you or don't let their opinion bother you. Have you ever been outside of the United States? No. That was my first time to go out of the country. Most high schools just go to Six Flags. Our ship got delayed so um, we were uh, able to go to the Kima Boardwalk and that was amazing and okay. we got to ride rides and we kind of got like the best of both worlds. We made a lot of memories It definitely brought a lot of us a lot closer but it just it sucks because we got closer and we have only maybe two weeks of school left if that you know brought you all together. All of our classes like every single class of the day was the exact same so one. We so always so had almost wow. the exact so, uh, same schedule. Then we saw how like alike we were we're both quiet, and we both were really close to our families and our sisters. We both focus on school, and that's something we had in common. Oh. It was important to us. Yeah. So there wasn't any kind of rivalry. We helped we, each other a lot. Like we she, always do that. <laughs> like I know uh, she helped me out in my physics class or my chemistry class or Mr. Nelson's class. <laughs> yeah. And I'd help her if she needed help in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish. Yeah, and then she'd also help me in physics, too. We'd, like, help each other study and yeah, make sure yeah, we got it. Check over it and explain it to the other how yeah. we got it. You studied together? We had a few study parties, Sometimes. actually. That's nerdy. Couple. But we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and most yeah. people would say we're nerdy, but hey, if it helps you get the good grade. Her family would cook, like, these awesome meals, and then we'd study afterwards. It was delicious. My most memorable moment in high school would have to be, like, my sophomore year, whenever we went to state in softball, it brought everybody together. The team was amazing. I wouldn't have changed any of them for the world. I was in the outfield and the girl hit it, 
and I caught it, and then I threw it home because the girl was stealing, and that's the first time I'd ever thrown a girl out from home from in the outfield. It, it was awesome. Brandy, I think that I learned that if you actually push yourself and try and do your best, like she's always done, then you can actually go far. I know when I used to be in her English class, she would do everything to get the best grade, to write the best paper, to understand what it was like in college. She's really good at what she does. Thanks. <laughs> I think something I learned from Amy is just how you don't have to stress out so much because, I mean, she would worry about her studies, but not to the point that she'd make herself go crazy about it. And she still did good. That's something I kind of had to learn, like, don't stress yourself out so much. And, I mean, because all that will do is slow you down more. She's always bubbly and enthusiastic and just in a chipper mood. And <laughs> I think I think that's great because it rubs off on other people. I mean, it puts them in a good mood too if they're having a bad day. I never remember her ever having problems with anyone. I just like how she kept the peace and always kept a positive attitude going for everybody. I would say anybody would push harder. It wouldn't be anybody but Brandy. She's an amazing person. Like I love her as my friend. <laughs> What words of wisdom would you impart to your fellow seniors as you leave? When we get, like most people are scared of leaving like the only place we've known our whole lives. I just think it's a time to be excited about the unknown and what you, if you don't know what you can achieve, like there's no, no limits. I mean if you feel like, if you feel that strongly and that, and that whatever goal you set is going to make you truly happy, then I don't think there should be anything holding you back. Just Go for it. Dare to be great. Don't give up. If it's drama, just let it go. You shouldn't care about what other people think. The goals you set for yourself should be high and you shouldn't let anybody stop you in reaching those goals. I hope everybody succeeds in anything that they do. Whenever we come back for our 20th <laughs> anniversary or reunion, I hope that everybody is doing well, that they um, have become what they wanted, they've excelled in what they wanted, and just be the person that they are. It's not even about like doing the mainstream thing, like going and being a successful lawyer. I want to be a doctor just because that's what's like truly going to make me happy. Like if they want to do something that doesn't really require much schooling or whatever, if that's what makes them personally happy, then I'm grateful that they found that, that they achieved that. They should be All happy. They should be happy in what they do. Get a job that you would love. So that's how you would define success then? Yeah. So where do you plan to go to college and how do you plan to maintain your friendship? I plan on attending Texas A&M after I graduate and like how I plan on staying in touch with Amy is Facebook. <laughs> I plan to go and blend for a year if not maybe two. Um, so, and during that time, I'm most definitely going to be like trying to hang out with everybody that I can from my high school, especially Brandy. But once I go to Texas State, um, like she said, we have Facebook or text messages. <laughs> the teacher that inspired me the most would have to be uh, Miss Lisa Brown. She, she was always patient and always took her time, even if it was forever until I understood it. She just, was, she never got angry or frustrated. She came here to do her job, and she did a really good job at it. So. And where did she teach? She taught me algebra too. My most like influential teacher would have to be Miss Lisa Brown as well, because <laughs> um, she was just so patient with you. You, if you didn't get something, she would go through you doing tutorials, keep you after school if you needed it. She actually was like out there, out of her way to make sure you got this, make sure you passed your tax test, make sure you got it. So whenever we did need it. We already knew the basics of what we had to know. I love her. So what did you learn from her? I learned... Uh, Any life lessons? Just don't give up. I mean, just if you have a trouble, just think it through. Make sure you know what, what your next move is. Her, what she teach you? Her close relationship with God was something that I really admired about her. She just... Every once in a while in class, she'd tell a story about, like, Job. Just references from the Bible and stuff, and I really like that about her. The patience, just because I think mm -hmm. you need that to get through any situation in life so you're not freaking out and stressed about it. Remember the old times. 